If you want to see a video on how to do this either by hand or using Excel or Google Sheets, take a look at the links down below in my description, or you can go ahead and click on the card here. We want to use the calculator, though, which is a really great way to do this. The question is, do students have a preference for a class time? We've got 150 students enrolled, and they are divided between the 9, 10, and 11 o'clock English sections. These are our observed data values. Um, our expected values would be if there was no preference between the three. If there are no preferences between the three, that means that the 150 would be expected to be evenly divided. So that would tell me that I would get 50 in each of the three time slots. So that leads me to this chi-square measure, which is a lot like a percent change, just a little bit different. Um, if we're able to say that the chi-square measure is close to zero, that means there is no preference. And if that measure instead is significantly greater than zero, then we conclude that there is a preference. The calculator makes really quick work of this. Let's go ahead and put the data into our calculator. To do that, I'm gonna enter it into a list. I'm gonna go into stat and then edit. So I just click enter. Um, I'm gonna use L1 and L2. If you've got data in L1 or L2, arrow up to the list name, hit clear and then enter. So I'm going to go ahead and enter these in. My observed is 31, 63, and 56. I'm going to arrow over until I'm in L2 there, and then I've got 50, 50, and I'm just hitting enter after each of these, 50, 50, and 50. Now let's exit out of here and run the chi-square test. I'm going to do a second quit. I want to go back into my stat menu, this time over to tests. Um, I know it's towards the bottom of the list, so I'm going to arrow up so I can get to it a little quicker, and it's the chi-square goodness of fit test. I hit enter, um, and my observed and expected, I do have those in L1 and L2. If you needed to change one of these, you would hit the second button followed by number one for L1, second followed by two for L2, and so on. You do need to change the degrees of freedom. I've got three data values minus one for degrees of freedom, so I do want two here, and then I arrow down to calculate. So super nice. It gives me the chi-square value, which is 11.32, and it also gives me the p-value, which is 0 0.0034. This is a really small p-value, and it fits well within my significance area of 0 0.05, so we would conclude that we reject the null hypothesis, and there is a preference. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you've got any questions or comments for me, go ahead and put those down below.